Okay, so I got a question about what are the advantages of iMovie 09? Now, it's not as advanced as Final Cut Pro or all those, or Avid, which I use at work, because it's not as expensive as uh, those editing software. But it does have some advantages for somebody who wants to do just a little bit more and not have to pay an arm and a leg for it. Because Final Cut Pro does run around $700 and people don't have that kind of money. So I'm just going to open iMovie and show you some of the advantages of having it. Now it does irk me that you have to go into preferences when you get it and I didn't know that I had all these options. Select show advanced tools. Otherwise it doesn't show up and then you think well, where the hell are all my advantage tools? So, I'm just going to drag this little piece of video that I shot a couple days ago over here. And here are some of the advantages. You can adjust the clip speed, or you can put a video effect on it, which is, you can go Cepheia, Negative, X-Ray, Sci-Fi, Heat Wave. Old world, black and white, beach bypass, which just bleaches and everything else. Glow, dream, romantic, vignette, I use that a lot. Day and night, hard light, film grain, aged film, none. Flipped, which changes the direction it was going. Raster, or cartoon. Those are all the video effects you can put on, but you can also uh, adjust your color and your brightness and exposure or saturation, which can really change the way your video looks, which I've done that before. It can also make your audio uh, dip down. Say you had a video that wanted you wanted music track over, but you wanted it to duck down, then you would just have this duck every time you came on the screen or etc. So, and you also have, say you wanted to put other video on top of the video you already have, then you get this drop down menu, you can replace it, replace from the start, insert, which means that it would insert it into where your cursor is. You could put your audio only, which if you only had audio and you wanted audio from a video you used instead of the certain things that you have, or you have cutaway, which is basically just an inserted shot like this it cuts to that video above like you were doing a jump cut picture in picture which is what I've been doing certain things on where you have the picture over in the corner here so if you did a tutorial or etc you'd want your face or what you're talking about over in this corner right here or you can, which you can also adjust all of the picture in picture to, like dissolve, you can put a border around it, you can adjust the video or the audio, because it does play its audio as well. You can also crop your video, which I do a lot. Say you wanted something cropped, you can crop it pretty close, but it always has to be in the same aspect ratio that you picked, like this is 16 by 9, or Ken Burns, which is basically it zooms in and out slowly through your editing, so if you forgot to do it, this is how it plays out, and then it just zooms out. You can also do that for your picture in picture. You can do your cropping and rotation in Ken Burns at the same time do green screen, which I don't have a green screen, so it doesn't really help me. But I gather most of the people who do all their effects have iMovie 09, and that is what they use. They put it, and it like transparencies the image that you already have, so you put a background image behind it. And if you had no, you had the green screen, then you would be able to put it over top. Final Cut Pro and Avid both have more advanced options than 
the thing that really irks me also about my movie is that I can't add my own backgrounds. Like say I wanted to make a JPEG or what have you. The only way I can do it is through iPhoto. Like I have the photos and then I put them in as backgrounds but it's still not the same as have being able to add them in yourself or the transitions and then you have your text menu you can't make your own text either which also works me but there's some good options there and you can also adjust the font that you want to use only for like these things like pixie dust you're not allowed to adjust the font for which really bites but whatever and you can also add a lot of music to it but I have a lot of Apple loops from that I Shanghai from another place and I put them in my system you can also export or import in HD and you can also export in a Final Cut you can also export to Final Cut or you can export into QuickTime I usually export movie like this and you can also export into HD which is really helpful if you want to make high definition things or you already have a high definition camera which I do now another thing that you should know about it I don't know if iMovie 08 does this they probably do but when you import stuff from your you can import from your camera or you can import a movie it makes the file way bigger on your hard drive than it originally was so just work with uh, small files or delete them after you work with them because it takes up an exorbitant amount of hard drive space but overall I think iMovie is pretty good for somebody who does not want to spend too much money on editing software you just want the basics it's kind of like the equivalent of uh, Movie Maker for Windows, but way more advanced. And uh, so hopefully this has given you some information on iMovie 09, being able to do your editing without complaint and making it look professional without spending an exorbitant amount of money on buying editing software.